Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do another daily vibe for the next 24 hours. We're just going to see what comes up. Ten of Swords. And the Seven of Wands reverse. Now that looks like a... Well, it looks like a death of some sort. I mean, it does look like a death. It looks like an ending. It's somebody's uh, reached the end. <laughs> this is the end of suffering, right? It is. It's a painful situation. It's the end. Okay, I don't know why it's going in and out. It's the end of suffering. Uh, the, I don't know if there's some sort of uh, foul play, you know, uh, fall from power, uh, giving up, stepping down. Uh, this is. Uh, a loss of some sort, the Seven of Wands, this is, I don't know, there's some sort of, this is the end of a battle, it's the end of a competition, this is, this is going down, going down, somebody's going down, um, the end, painful, it's a painful ending, um, <laughs> stepping down, Stepping down, giving up, giving up the fight. Somebody is giving up the fight. Losing ground. Hurt. This is hurt. This is stabbed right in the back. This is a uh, painful ending. This is a painful ending. All right. This is experiencing pain. Powerless. Powerless to the situation. Nothing you can do. This hurts. And there's nothing you can do about it. We have another reader here that can change that. Pull it out of your ass, please. I'm really fed up. I'm fed up by all the false prophets. Balance. Justice. That's a justice card. This is about balance, about, about uh, the law, karma. This is a karmic ending. It's a loss of some sort, a legal loss of some sort. Or legal justice. There's consequences. Everything turning out as it should. There's no toleration for lies. There is no toleration for lies. This is a this is an ending of some sort. Somebody has been lying. Now they're about to lose their power. This person is losing their power. They're losing their stance. They're losing their ground because they've been lying. There's lies. The truth is coming out. This is the truth being revealed. And it hurts. Whatever the truth is, the truth hurts. This is a painful ending, but it is a fact. The fact is, is the fact is, is that it's over. This is the factual truth of an ending. Quitting. Uh, powerless to the truth. The truth powerless to this situation. The star. The star is a card of hope. Okay, the star of a new purpose. Um, the star is help it's help arriving after the tower falls this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls there's going to be a tower moment which is in the form of an ending okay this is an ending which is the tower moment this ending is the tower moment but this is a blessing it's actually a blessing that this has happened and i know that's hard to believe because now you don't have to fight anymore the fight is over the battle is over the struggle is over the competition is over so it is the end of the competition now balance can be restored so balance will be restored once this ending happens Okay, this is this is a blessing. It's a blessing that this has ended because now this is finally, it's finality. It's finally 
over. Okay, it's finally over. Now you can, uh, this is like free. It's like be free. Now, now you have a new purpose. Now you have a new direction. Now you can heal. Um, this is divine guidance as well. Being guided, being protected. There's some sort of protection here. Guided. Somebody that has passed is, is guiding somebody in a new direction. Guiding somebody towards balance. Guiding somebody away from a situation. Um, Page of Cups. Now this is news arriving. Typically it's good news. This is this is uh, expressing feelings. Somebody is going to be expressing their honest, truthful feelings now that this has happened, now that this is over. And this is karma. So there's some sort of karmic ending that has happened. Now there's feelings that are going to be expressed. Somebody is following their heart and trusting their gut and they're going in a new direction. They've been in a very tough position. This is a they've but they're, they're they're done. They're not in that position anymore. Now they're now that position is over. Okay? They don't have to fight. They don't have there's the comp, the competition is over. It's over. Okay? Now there's now somebody is going to be speaking the truth. Okay, they're going to be communicating the truth. They've got this new, you know, this is a renewal of some sort. They've got this new purpose. Maybe this newfound confidence as well. Somebody is headed towards success now. Fortune, change of course, fe destiny, fate. Something is changing. This is this is changing in a positive direction. So we have somebody going definitely in a new direction. Destiny, karma. This is a karmic ending. Okay, two tens. So we have a completion here. Completion of a cycle. This cycle is now over. You are free. You're free to go. You're free to go where your heart desires. This is why this happened. So that you could be free and so that you could go. So this is a fortunate event. Destined change of course. There is also help arriving. This is there. There could be a wish that is being granted. It's like somebody has been wishing and praying. Maybe they've been praying for love or praying for something. Their wish is going to be granted in the very near future. A fortunate blessing is definitely coming. Okay, there could whatever's coming. Good news is coming, or a message, or a positive message is coming. After an ending, but it does start with the Ten of Swords, okay? That's an ending. That's the end of suffering, okay? It's the end of a situation. Balance is coming back. Balance is going to be restored. Somebody is stepping down from fighting. They're stepping down from fighting what they want. They are, they are following, they're following the light, you know? They're going after happiness by the looks of things. This Wheel of Fortune is something good that is on the way. Life is always changing. Somebody is going in a, in a more positive direction after this uh, dreadful ending. Okay, this is dreadful. It's painful. They're going in a new direction. There's a reason. This, the Star Card is a reason. There's a reason why this happened. That was a karmic, it was a karmic uh, contract of some sort. Somebody needed to learn a lesson. And it has to do with fighting feelings as something like that. Anyhow, um, a 
positive change is coming. Somebody's going to be receiving a message. Somebody's going to be receiving a message from somebody that they have been. Uh, it's almost like they've been wishing. But it, but it feels like it's not what you think, you know. So I have to put that out there. It may not be from who you think it's from. You know what I'm saying? Love is coming, whatever that means to you. An offer or invite is coming. Okay, this is somebody who may be offering a piece, somebody that is searching for love, looking for love. There could be an admirer here that is acting on their feelings or somebody is acting on their feelings. Somebody is definitely going to be acting on their feelings. No doubt about it. They're gonna be making a move. This person is looking for love. So whoever this person is, they're looking for love. I still don't think they're going to kiss your ass, though. But anyhow, um... We have a lover coming in. We do. We have a lover coming in. It's a surprise. So this is like somebody coming to pick you up. Somebody coming to pick you up from this situation. You know, they're coming to help you. They're coming to bring balance back to your life. They're coming to love you. You know, they're coming to take care of you. They're coming to nurture you. If it's like somebody is arriving, this is somebody from the past. And this may be somebody from a past life. It doesn't have to be somebody in this lifetime. Could be somebody in a past life or somebody that has passed away, you know, is going to help you out of this situation. That's where your help arrives. They're going to help you. They're going to help to pick you up. They're going to they're going to bring you towards balance. They're going to bring you towards where you are meant to go. They're going to guide you in that right direction. They're going to guide you. They're going to guide you towards the light, whatever that means. Somebody's going to be guided towards, you know, wherever they're meant to go because this is meant to be where they're meant to be. Um... Empress, birth of a new life, knight of coins reversed. Now the empress, she gives birth. She's a mother. She's very loving. She's a goddess. She is a homemaker. Uh, she delivers on her promises. Looks like she's distraught. It does. Looks like this empress is distraught. So we may have a mother that is distraught or a woman or a wife or whoever it is. She's sad. She's got her hand up to her chest. She's sad. She's, she's sad over something. Maybe it's a loss. With that Knight of Coins reversed. It could be an ex. Um, somebody is sad. They're waiting. They're waiting for the delivery. They're waiting for their blessing. And here, this is the blessing. A blessing is coming for this woman who has been waiting. And it could be a true love. It could be a new love. This could be a secret admirer or somebody. I don't know who it is. Somebody is coming. They're coming with a message. And, it, and it's almost like they're coming after the tower falls. Like this tower moment happens. There's some sort of event that happens. And this person comes out of nowhere to offer support. Um, this ten of wands in reverse. That's dropping weight. Dropping a burden. Letting go. Change of direction. Somebody is dropping weight. Changing directions. Um, letting go of some sort of baggage, uh, waiting for balance, headed towards balance, no longer carrying, don't have to carry this anymore. It's, it's, you're free. There is freedom here. You are, there is, I know there is, there's freedom. There's freedom to go in that new direction. So they are able to go. So somebody is going, they're going in a new direction there. And it feels like there's a lot of abundance here, a lot of abundance in the future, you know, a lot of money, a lot of fortune, a lot of, 
growth, um, prosperity. Somebody is, is getting a very fortunate opportunity uh, to have a new life. And I think that they're going to be getting some good news. They're going to be getting some good news. But this, this good news, it's kind of like it's bittersweet because it comes after an ending because of that Ten of Swords. That's the end of suffering. So whatever's happening, you're going to be getting some good news. Uh, but this good news, and it's very fortunate. So this good news comes after you let go of something. Because this is letting go of a painful situation, which is interesting. Um, it's getting what you deserve. It's justice being served. It's you uh, making a final decision. It's final. Whatever it is, it's final. You're, it's final. This is about healing and beauty and love, unconditional love. We may have somebody here with this uh, Knight of Pentacle reverse that is unhealthy. This person is obsessed. They're, maybe they're obsessed with their body. They're unfaithful. They're jealous. They're irresponsible. They, they may have issues with their ex, you know, so they're feeling insecure. There's insecurity here. But I feel like the, the, that there's there's a new life because this is, the, this is the birth of a new life. So somebody could get news of a pregnancy or, you know, the birth of a baby or something like that. Um... There is some good news that is coming, whatever it is. It's it's something that you asked for, you've been hoping for, you've been praying for. Um, somebody is going to get the news that they've been praying for in regards to the beginning of a new life. After a painful ending, after accepting, okay, accepting that something is over. Um, we have three tens right in a row. That, that's completion, completion, completion. So there's de definitely the end of a cycle. It's the end of a cycle of carrying baggage, uh, carrying weight, carrying a burden. It's letting it go. Now you're moving in a more positive direction where you're free. You're free. This is uh, going with the flow. You know, happiness, happiness. Somebody is headed towards, towards happiness. Um, it's a time of growth. It's a very fertile time too. So if you're looking to get pregnant, now would definitely be the time. Um, but there is there is like a dropout here. We, and that's why there's distraught. We do have a woman here that is distraught over somebody not following through. You know, this is somebody who doesn't follow through that uh, didn't own up to their end of the bargain. You know, whatever. Um, but there is a new beginning here. Okay, because when you have the Wheel of Fortune, that's the end of a cycle. It's the beginning of a new cycle. So you are about to begin a new cycle of a new life. Okay, it's a new cycle. It's a new life. And there is somebody arriving that you, you, maybe you prayed for. Maybe this is a new love or something like that. Um, I don't know. Could be. If that's what you're looking for. I do see a time of healing, though, because the star card is healing. A need to heal. Um... And get healthy. I need to get healthy. So we have somebody here that needs to work on their health. Um, somebody is going to... Something... Everything is going to turn out the way that it should. Okay? So with that justice card, that's that's everything turning out as it should. You may not, you may not think that it did, but it did. You are heading in a new direction towards something very, very uh, emotionally fulfilling. Uh, very positive, abundant. Uh, your reward is coming. That's all I can say. It's coming. But you have to uh, accept, okay? Because the Empress has to accept pain to get her blessing. And there is pain. There is definitely some sort of pain. It's a painful ending, okay? But that it's the end of suffering as well. So it's the end. It's the end of suffering. So... Um, you don't have to fight anymore. You don't have to fight. You're not, you don't, it's over. The fight is over, you know. Uh, everything has happened for a reason. Your reward is coming. Um, be prepared to hear a message, to get a message from somebody that makes you really, really, really happy. This is what you were hoping for, whatever this is. But it's not what you think it is. And I have to reiterate that because I, I feel like, you know, sometimes thank God for unanswered prayers. You know what I mean? Because we get people that put a name on it. Like, I want 
so and so. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. You can't. You can't uh, insist on having a certain person. That's not the way it goes. That goes against their free will. Okay. And this is about free will. Okay. Free will. You have to accept. And you know, this is. The, you have to accept. You have to accept that other people. You have to let go of the notion that you can control another person's free will. If that person doesn't want to be with you, accept it. Don't try to will them back into your life. You're only stalling. You're only you're only hindering your own happiness. This is about accepting and cutting your losses and allowing change to happen. And when you do that, when you accept that something is over, they bring you what you deserve. They bring you the love that you deserve. But you have to let go first. So you may have been praying to the universe for so-and-so this with a name. And the universe heard your prayers. They're probably bringing you somebody else. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. But that's what I see. <laughs>